Hello there, let's learn a nice simple slip jig. It's a tune called The Snowy Path, which sounds like this. straightforward tune this one so let's just look at it basically from one measure to the next we kick off on the D string and this tune by the way is in the key of D so if you start playing your open D string Don't worry about the G string, we don't play that in this tune. It's just those three strings, the E, the, the A and the D. So we kick off on our middle finger on the D string and cross over. That's the first measure, the first bar. All I'm doing there is I'm starting on the F sharp, crossing over to the open A, first finger, back to the D string, middle finger, open A, first finger on the A string. Okay, next measure, ring finger, on the D string, first finger on the um, A string, ring finger on the D string, open E, back, to, back down again, so it sounds like this, So from the beginning, three, four. Repeat the first phrase again, the first measure. First finger on the D string. Open D. It's all played on the D string, so you go from the E, open, open note on the D string, first finger, middle finger, ring finger, middle finger, first finger. Did you notice at the end of that measure I went three little quavers, one, two, three. Most of this tune comprises of crotchets followed by a quaver. That's the crotchet. That's the quaver. Bit slower. Three, four. Repeat. 
slight difference at the end, but not much at the end. Now we go onto the A string with our middle finger to play the C sharp. All I do there, I go middle finger, ring finger, that's both on the A string. Open E, back down to the third finger, the ring finger on the A string, down to the C sharp. So it's like this. And now first finger on the A string, third ring finger on the D. Middle finger on the A. Open E. Now we go first finger on the E string. Second finger. Let's play that again. Last measure was this, it's just an A, open A, down onto the F sharp with my middle finger on the D string, open D, middle finger, first finger, open D. So the B section is like this. the whole tune. So that is the complete tune, the snowy path, very straightforward to play and I think we can just perhaps go all the way through. So I'll do a couple of A's and a couple of B's nice and slowly for you. Three, four. section If you can't do uh, grace notes, that sort of thing, do slides. You just come up from the note below. This tune can handle slides quite well. I'll show you three, four.
I think perhaps that you may enjoy adding to your repertoire. I think it's one of the easier slip jigs to play because of the, the, the way that the, um, the, the, the uh, crotchets and it's followed by a quaver so you get this sort of da 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 you kind of get that rhythm in it So don't be worried if you're asked to play perhaps um, at a session or a dance and somebody says will you play a slip jig, do not worry because this is a good one. Um, in, in the UK at Arcalis um, there's a, a, a dance that we call Strip the Willow where the, the dancers sort of weave in, in, and, in amongst it themselves and they swing their partner around and it gets faster and faster. Well, this tune works really well with that particular dance. It can perhaps start off like this. Okay, and the dancers are nice and uh, moving around, weaving in amongst themselves quite happily. But of course, if it's if there are um, Scottish people, um, shall we say, dancing, they like it a bit faster. So it goes. It ends up going more like this. used to say to the band if we ever see a kilt in amongst the dancers then we know strip the willow is going to end up at one heck of a fast pace what I call hell for leather pace <laughs> so there you go so this tune I'll get the notation figured out for you and post it so you can see but I think this is a good one if you are perhaps just learning to play the fiddle and fancy having a go at playing a slip jig in 9-8 timing and are not too sure which one to try and learn well this is a good one because it's a fairly straightforward one to play and um, yeah I think you'll find you'll enjoy and have fun learning this one okay well once again keep the feedback coming because obviously I do read the comments and I do respond accordingly um, Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye now.